Somebody get that man some clothes. Okay, well I decided to make my monthly trip to Maryland. And we are here in Thurmont today, sitting outside of the Goodwill. We're about to head in and see what we can find to buy and flip for a profit. So here we go. All right, well I just walked by all of the Halloween things. So before we leave, we're definitely gonna be hitting up Halloween, but first, figurines. <laughs> Let's see what we've got in the way of figurines. I'm really digging this. Siamese cat back here. What is this? Oh, there's a shop for Japan. Seal point. Oh, it's a very specific Siamese cat. It's a seal point Siamese. And it is $4.49. We have our ears, we have our paws, we have all the things we're supposed to have when we're a cat. This is adorable. Oh my goodness. It's missing a little petal. That is so cute for $149. Oh, today's the day of cats, which is great because I have a cat sale coming up. And I feel like I don't have enough cats. Baltimore souvenir trinket. <laughs> Three headed. Are those? Are those Freeman McFarlane? No. I think they're just supposed to look like the Freeman McFarlane ducks. Oh, well, let's look up here. <laughs> to look at the shelf from all different angles because I've been known to miss things in the past. Hey, you are. hey how are you? I'm good, how are you? Doing good. good. It's been a while. <laughs> this lizard here is crazy lifelike. What is that? Country artists. Huh. That's wild. All right. I don't really see anything else in figurines. We'll just keep on moving. Keep on moving down the road. This is, that's kind of neat. Huh. What is it? <laughs> I mean, I think it's supposed to be a candle holder, but it's very shallow. Oh, maybe it's broken? I bet you it's broken. I'm like, it's so shallow. I don't know how you would put a candle in there, but. I like the look of it, but I think it must be broken. I don't think there's any way you could actually get a candle to sit up there. Okay, metals. Oh my, okay. <laughs> wow, all right. It's like in the facial hair. You see in this? There we go. Somebody get that man some clothes. <laughs> All right, what is this down here? That is chipped and it is contemporary. Well, it looks like it could have been fancy. We're going through it kind of quick today. There's some cute kitty cats. Those are sugars. Not Mackenzie Childs. <laughs> Looking at these canisters. I, canisters sell well for me in my booth, but I have a lot of canisters at the shop to cycle into the booth. I think I actually priced um, two sets of canisters the other day. To move in simultaneously, so um, we're gonna pass on those canisters today. I like the design on that. Let's peek over here. This is one of my favorite shelves at this Goodwill. Oh, that is dripping. much there today. Hopefully we find some treasures over in Halloween because so far we have two cats. Those are pretty yellow. 
by themselves. They're not very yellow, but in the pile, <laughs> very vibrant. All right, we're getting down to it. Almost done. It looks like maybe it's Mexico. Here is the wood section. Our last section before Halloween. Oh my gosh, I love these. Okay, this is a tissue box. It's not very old. But you pull the tissues out of his nose. Isn't that fun? That's so fun, right? How much do they have on it? $5.49. I just think those are so great. I've actually sold them before. That's, that's how I know what it is. I think I'm going to grab it. And I think on that note, we're going to go head up towards the Halloween and then move on to the next goodwill. And this is why I say it's good to look at this shelf from different angles because I'm walking by on my way to Halloween. And there's a fused glass plate that in the sugar for $2.49. Fantastic. I missed it. <laughs> I totally missed it. And then here is some photograph. This is one of my favorite photograph patterns. The kitty cat. So maybe I'll pick that up too. $4.49 on the fused glass. All right, I'll take it. <laughs> $4.49 fused glass dish. All right, well, let's take a quick browse through Halloween. <laughs> it's so funny. All the employees are like, hey, it's been a while. It has been a while. I haven't been making a weekly trip up here. I've been giving it a little bit more time. And as a result, everything is new every visit. I'm not seeing the same stuff. It's like it's all fresh and it's all new and it's all exciting. So it's been working out. <laughs> all right. Are we seeing anything? I don't really see much. I don't see it. Oh, that is so cute with the black cat. I don't really like the glitter on it, though. I'm not a glitter person. I don't like the glitter. Those are sweet little balls. They kind of remind me of Impoli, but obviously they are not. They are likely made in, in China or something. There is a pilgrim down there. Oh, these are, these are kind of darling. No markings or anything on those. Like harvest dishes. Lots of these pails, but they reproduce those. I don't even know what are vintage and what are contemporary. <laughs> That's sweet. Oh my gosh, two forty nine. See, I'm tempted to get this for Laurel for Halloween. A little trick or treat basket. Maybe that'll be her bucket for Halloween. I think that would be great. <laughs> two forty nine. All right, we'll get that for Laurel. Um, really? Yeah, that's very sweet. You know what? I have so many Halloween candles already, like stored away, waiting for Halloween. So I don't think I need another one. I think that's it. There's some more stuff over here, but I don't think we'll uh, we'll mess with it. So. Let's get out of here, and I guess I'll catch you guys in the car with a total. All right. Well, our total spend there was $29 today, and we are going to move along to the next Goodwill. Um, but I guess I'll see you when we get there. All right. Well, I decided to start in the vases today, so let's see what we can find. I really love the colors on this for $4.49. It's actually really pretty. <laughs> so we'll pick that up. I don't recognize the markings on it, but it is really pretty color. We have this. I think this is made to look like one of those terracotta warriors. $7.49, but see that his foot has been reattached. This is really pretty. $4.49 on that. I forget where this is made. Kind of, um, I don't know. I'm not gonna speculate. I'm just gonna stick it in my cart because I like it. Hmm, that's kind of nice. Can't tell if that has age or if it's just made to look like it has age. I 
don't see any markings on it. Looks like maybe there's remnants of a sticker. 149 on that. I don't know. I think I'm going to leave it behind because I just can't get a read on it. So we will leave that behind. There is a jack o' lantern. What does that say on the bottom? It looks like a Ben something. It kind of has a mid century look to it, maybe. $3.49. I guess today is going to be the day of vases. All right. The music's really loud today, so I'm just trying to talk over it, talk fast and talk loud. <laughs> oh my goodness, what is that? Oh my gosh, it looks, I was going to say it looks like Italian, but I kind of suspected it was going to be Japanese, and it is. So this is me, me to look like Potosi, but it is, um, it is... Japanese and you can see there is a little bit of a chip there, but gorgeous blue coloring And I'm going to buy it anyway because I really like it These guys are adorable. Look at those. They're like little <laughs> little dudes. What are those? Oh George good corporation designed by Beth Barton There are two of them little figurines Tell you what, the heart goods section is kind of sparse today. There's not a whole lot of people shopping over here. These birds are fantastic. <laughs> They're made of a hard resin. What is this? This is um, made in Portugal. A compote for three dollars and forty-nine cents. Some pretty florals on that. Oh my gosh, what do we have down here? Oh, these ladies are so fun. <laughs> Who makes these? My goodness, $14.49 each. But they are so fun. I love their expressions. I'm gonna grab those, all three of them. I mean, $14.49, but I feel like there's still a little meat on the bone there, right? They're still intact. Those are great. I just wish I knew where they were made. I'll probably stick those in my booth. I don't know if I'm brave enough to ship those. Let's see. Yes, there are three of them. And somebody's dirty Dunkin' Donuts cup back there. Those are great. <laughs> they just have so much character. What is this? I'm wondering if that's supposed to have an underplate. I don't know, it is redware. Eh, you know what, it's 99 cents that as well. Um, I was noticing there was a wedding vase, but I guess the, the handle on the wedding vase is broken. $3.49 on the wedding vase. I think it's a Navajo wedding vase. I think that's what those are called. Alright, make sure we didn't miss anything before we move on. Go check out some of the other aisles. Usually there's a lot more coffee mugs here, but looks like coffee mugs are a little sparse today. What do we have back here? Oh, that's really cool. It's an Ecuador uh, souvenir coffee mug, but it has a beautiful macaw bird on it. I'll move that one up front. Maybe someone else will see it. Here are the cups. Drinkware. Eh, nothing special. I don't really need any drinkware unless it's extraordinary. That has a really pretty pattern on it with the florals. It is Noritake China. They do have the saucers there too. What is that down there? I like that pattern with the birds. Take a peek at the bottom of that and see what that is. Ooh, careful. There we go. What is this one? This is Johnson Brothers England. It is the Vigo. Something. The Vigo, I guess is what it's called. That sucks. <laughs> that cup is making me so nervous. <laughs> Alright. I've found some art glass stash over here before, but there's some photograph. I'm not seeing any today. There is quite a bit of Halloween over here. I like the pattern on this, but there is a crack on the bottom. That's kind of nice with the florals on it. There's a giant fish dish down there. Let's see what else. 
There's a sugar. That's pretty. What is that? Tabletops Gallery. All right. That looks like it could be Italian for $4.49. Oh, there's a chip. I don't know if I'm going to forget that chip. I think I'm going to leave that behind. I've collected quite a few things in my cart. I'll maybe do one more pass down the shelves, but I think the music is uh, a little too loud today for me. Not just for recording, but just in general. I just can't really handle it, so I think I'll probably get out of here. I thought that maybe that would be pottery, but turns out it is in fact plastic. <laughs> so never mind on that. Oh, what is this down here? Oh, that is broken. That's what that is. <laughs> never mind. I was excited for a second. That looks fancy, but it has a giant crack in it. All right. Like, what did I miss? Hmm. Anything back there that looks kind of interesting? Oop, there we go. Oh, there's a chip on the bottom. I don't think I'm going to try to thread it on back there. It makes me a little nervous. There's a cool looking vase back there. Let's try to get that one out. Here it comes. Ooh. One is $24.99 table decor. All right, maybe not. All right, looks like mostly appliances. <laughs> There's a cool skateboard down there. Deliet's been asking me for a skateboard, but I don't think that's it. <laughs> All right, well, here's another fresh cart. Let's just give it a quick peek. There's a cool fish thing in there. A neat cranberry vase. Lots of dishware. I see some candlesticks in there. I need to try to grab. Those look exciting. Let's grab those. Oh, those are like hobbyist candlesticks. <laughs> They're very sweet though. a bunny on a nest. I don't think those sell very much. These are um, Pioneer Woman, I think. So I'll grab the Pioneer Woman. I know those can be worth money if they're retired. Sorry. <laughs> I missed that other way. You're allowed to uh, dig through the carts, but I just try to stay out of their way. Alright, so I moved the red canisters out because I saw an owl down here that I really wanted to get to. Ooh, let's pull him out. <laughs> there we go. Oh, he's one of those potpourri owls. He's so cute. I'll take him. I worked hard to get him out, so might as well stick him in there. Lots of Easter in there. All right, I think that's it for me from this cart. I walked by this earlier, but then I realized just now <laughs> that this is um, Alaskan clay. He's got a little boo-boo on his nose, but that could be touched up. A little black paint. Um, it's that squirrel clay that I got when I was in um, Ohio. I bought the little quails. $3.49 on that. We'll add him to the cart as well. And then I'm just scanning back over the shelves because... As you can see, they wheeled out more carts. I wanted to make sure that I didn't miss anything. These are kind of neat. <laughs> These look like they're dressed in traditional clothing of some sort. Carved, painted. No markings on those. What is this? It's kind of cute. That's what that is. <laughs> um, oh, I saw these. What are these? Those shakers? No, those are just dishes. The stickers are open. Um, hmm. I guess it's made of plastic. I think that might be Avon, right? I don't know. There's a sticker over the bottom. It strikes me as being Avon. What in the world is that? <laughs> Besides extremely heavy. Oh my gosh. That is made of clay. House Parts Ink. Oh my gosh, it's a giant pig shelf. That is so bizarre. 
I feel like I should look this up because that is so weird that I feel like somebody would probably want that and it might actually have value. House Parts Inc. Okay, let's look at it real quick without hurting those ladies. I need two hands for this. All right, well, I found one that was asking 35. I did not find any sold, but I just think that is the wildest thing. It's very heavy and it's made of chocolate and I, I honestly, I don't like chipping chocolate, so I'm going to leave it behind. I know there's value there. It's $12.95. There's still meat on the bone, but I don't want to mess with that, so I'm going to leave it. And um, I think I'm going to give the shelves one final look and then we're going to go. I know I keep saying that, but I'm like, you know, they're stocking and it's important to make sure I see it all. Like this lovely lady that is probably also Avon. <laughs> all right, well, we're getting down to the bottom of some of these baskets and I pulled out these two. One is a bird wall pocket. So that was exciting. And the other was a hood ornament, I believe. Patented by something. I can't really read it. 1915. $3.49. So there's some paint wear on that, but I believe that's a hood ornament. So I've done well with hood ornaments in the past, so I figure why not. Hmm. I wonder if there's anything else in there. I guess we'll see. I thought this was really cool with Boho looking for $3.49. So I'm going to stick that in there. And then there's a lacquer dish of some sort. $5.49. Wooden. Got a nice sheen to it. I don't know. I don't know if I need that. I'm going to leave that behind. Stay. <laughs> Alright. I'm circling the outskirts. Alright, so that was just elevated to the next level. I just found two other trays sitting over on the shelf over here. And now it's cooler, and I want the three of them. I mean, it wasn't as cool when there was just one. Now there's three, and now it's coming with me. Um, <laughs> the neat cross in there. All right, yeah, I'm definitely gonna take that with me now. My little bottle. What is this? Something remedy. Hmm. It's remedy. It's also, is it Wheaton? I think it's a Wheaton bottle. It's 4.49. I just like to punch the look like that. Right. I know I should probably get out of here. I think I think I've found what I'm going to find, but I just I have that feeling that if I keep looking. I'm gonna find something else. I'm gonna find that one thing, but I haven't found it yet. <laughs> I don't think it's here. This is so cool. I love how colorful it is. Now this is Costa Rica, but I love it so much. I mean, the Costa Rica is almost worn off, and look at how fun the lid is. I don't even know if this is functional or if it's just decorative, but um, it is metal. $4.49. That is coming home with me. <laughs> oh, I love it so much. Okay. Yes, please. Okay, and then I'm backing up a little bit because I noticed this in the back. Ah, uh, it's chips. All right, I thought maybe that was... That's Germany, okay. I thought maybe it was Czechoslovakia. And there it is. That's it, right there. That's what I was looking for, I think. <laughs> I think that's what I was looking for. Is that Blanco? Maybe, Scandinavian? It's got the texture. I don't know, $2.49. No markings. It was on the back shelf. Can't tell me how many times I walked up and down the shelf. I did not see it until just this moment. That was it. Okay, I feel like we can go home now. <laughs> I'm gonna sit 
stick it in the cart. Oh boy. All right. It's kind of a neat crackle glass vase. With the shape of a rose bowl. It's a little crude. There's a um, console scar on the bottom. <laughs> you can see it's a little wonky, but pretty uh, amethyst glass. We'll stick that in there with our friends. I call them our friends because they just look so friendly. It's probably crystal. Okay. Well, our total spend there at Walkersville today was $118. I feel like those big, expressive ladies uh, probably were the bulk of the cost. They were $15 each. Um, but they were just so cool. And I think they'll look really neat in my booth. Like, all lined up with their really cool expression. I think that's really what did it for me. I was like, oh, look at you. You're so cheerful. Um, but anyway, I'm going to get out of here now. I'm going to move on down the road to the next Goodwill, but you guys are going to have to wait for that video. And I will see all of you tomorrow. So long.